Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can design a map layout and export it in ArcGIS Pro. We start off with map layers that we are ready to produce as a map layout. Under the Insert tab, please find New Layout on the left. On the second row in the window under Landscape, choose A4 for size. We want the map to be portrayed in Landscape, as it is wider horizontally. Now, we have a blank layout. In order to import the map that we have worked on, click Map Frame and the frame that you've been working on. Select the extent of the map frame like this. In order to alter the scale of the map, you may right-click the frame and choose Activate. Once the frame is activated, you are free to adjust the scale and position of your features to your liking. You can also just retype the scale in the scale bar to the left, like so. Feel free to adjust it just as you like, but remember that one of the key elements that makes a good map is the utilization of space. When you are pleased with the extent, click back to layout like so. To make the map more Earth-like, we will add a color for the surrounding ocean. This is easily done by choosing properties under map frame. In this dialog, you can alter the format of the map frame, like changing the background color or adding a border to the element. Find out which blue you like the best. I found that a grayer blue worked well with the rest of the map. Now, we have a nice color representing the ocean, even though it is not completely realistic. Next off, we will give the map a title. Under the Insert tab, you can find the symbology properties for text. I chose a more vintage feel for this specific map, but you can choose whichever font or style you'd like. The ability to create a text layer is hidden in the tab labeled with rectangle. But if we open this, we can choose text from the drop-down menu. Place the text where you want the title of your map and give your map layout a suitable title. Obviously, I did a mistake here and wrote 2014, even though my data is from 2012. To give the map a broadened spatial reference, we will add a graticle to the map. Please find Grid accordingly and choose the graticle of your liking. Now, you may notice that the values on the graticle run outside of the map feature. This is not something we want. In order to keep these values inside of the map feature, we need to change the scale so the entire graticle fits inside. To make a map like this understandable, it needs to have a legend. A legend is a visual explanation of the symbols used in a map. Mark the layers that you want to include in your legend like this, and select Legend in the toolbar. Click the element to open its formatting properties. And in the first tab, you may change this field to Tank for Crowding and check Show. This will make the title of the legend appear in the map layout. As you may have noticed, the legend includes a row that is unwanted, and we should remove it to enhance the map's readability. In order to do this, we need to convert the element to graphics so that we can edit it properly. Then, you will ungroup the features as a whole, and then again for each variable. We will remove the variable names that are unnecessary like so, and give the heading for the variable a bold font style. When happy with the outcome, you may regroup the elements by holding down the Shift button and choosing the desired features. I will also increase the size of the legend's heading. You should include a spatial reference, a literary reference, and your name as a cartographer. For the spatial reference, it is easily found and produced in the dynamic text dialog. Remove the information that you find unnecessary and add a literary reference and your name. At last, it is nice to have borders around each element in the map like this. When you are ready to export your map, you open the Share tab and press Layout to the far right. Make sure to save the PDF in a suitable folder and name it Öving and your name.